David Cameron has again refused to take part in a televised debate with Alex Salmond ahead of the referendum on Scottish independence. It came after the Scottish First Minister said the Prime Minister had a democratic responsibility to defend his views in open debate. Mr Salmond pointed out that Mr Cameron had used his New Year message to urge Scots to reject independence. But Mr Cameron said the debate should be between people in Scotland. Speaking on the BBC's Andrew Marr show, the Prime Minister said Mr Salmond was losing the current argument and he wants to try and change the argument. It seems that you want to dictate the terms of the debate about Scotland's future without taking the democratic responsibility to defend your views in open debate. Alex Salmond Scottish First Minister, he added. This is not a debate between me and him. It is not a debate between the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom and the First Minister of Scotland. The debate should be between people in Scotland who want to stay, and people in Scotland who want to go. We debate these things in Parliament, we debate them in the media, but the key question of should Scotland stay in the United Kingdom or does Scotland leave the United Kingdom? That is for Scots to decide. The SNP said it had commissioned a panel based poll of 1,012 people in Scotland which suggested 63% backed a televised debate between Mr Cameron and Mr Salmond, 25% opposed it and 11% were undecided. A related poll of 1,011 people in the rest of the UK suggested 56% backed a televised debate. 24% opposed it and 19% were undecided. New letter. In a letter to number 10, Mr Salmon told the Prime Minister that his New Year plea to Scots to stay in the UK undermined his argument that the independence debate should be between Scots. Mr Salmon said, I note that you used the centrepiece of your New Year address to attack Scottish independence. It seems that you want to dictate the terms of the debate about Scotland's future without taking the democratic responsibility to defend your views in open debate. That is simply unacceptable. Mr Salmond also accused Mr Cameron of using Scottish public funds in the anti-independence campaign and then plotting to cut Scotland's budget if it votes number. The debate should be between people in Scotland who want to stay, and people in Scotland who want to go. David Cameron UK Prime Minister, he added, the reality is that your government, in line with its predecessors, is itching to cut Scotland's funding in the event of a no vote whilst simultaneously directing its taxpayer funded resources to direct the case against an independent Scotland. In his New Year message, Mr Cameron said, this year, let the message go out from England, Wales and Northern Ireland to everyone in Scotland, we want you to stay, and together we can build an even stronger United Kingdom for our children and grandchildren. Deputy Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon accused Mr Cameron of being happy to pull the strings of the no campaign but scared to debate Alex Salmond face to face. She added. It is abundantly clear that the No campaign is Tory-led and Westminster-led, a fact further underlined by the Prime Minister's New Year message. Therefore, as the principal signatories of the Edinburgh Agreement, the natural progression in these circumstances is a televised, head-to-head -head debate between Mr Cameron and Alex Salmond, a democratic position supported by a substantial majority of people north and south of the border. Voters in Scotland will be asked the straight yes. No question, should Scotland be an independent country? When the referendum is held on 18 September, 